Hello, my friends. This is Ari, and uh, welcome to a brand new Vintage Story series. I've been getting requests now and then from people asking me to do a new Vintage Story season uh, series season. Yeah, it's both on the uh, the newest version of Vintage Story, which is 1.14.7, I believe. All kinds of new stuff in this version compared to the last series that I did, uh, which was a while ago. Um, so, let's be honest with ourselves, friends. I have a tendency to set some pretty lofty goals at the start of a series, and I never quite get there. Usually because, like, a new version of the game comes out, and, uh, I want to play in the new version with a new world. And so I never get to complete my goals. So this time, I'm going for a slightly more attainable goal, uh, and that is just to build myself a little hobbit village. I want to build a, a hobbit-style village, Lord of the Rings hobbit-style, here in this beautiful area that I have found for my starting area. Um, and I want to practice using the chisel some more. I want to practice, there's a lot of uh, possibilities with the chisel now. You can make uh, little statues and, and sculptures with uh, mul multiple materials in one sculpture, which I love. So I'm going to be doing that. That's my goal. I just build a little village, build a nice little village, uh, fill it with some little friends that I chisel out of materials. And in fact, to get started, I, uh, I've already got my first friend. Here we go. Let's meet the cat. We'll put him down. It says meet at the top of the screen there. Meet the cat is going to be coming with me. I'm going to be taking him with me. I've tested this and it is safe. <laughs> it is safe for me to break him without a pick. Uh, we don't want to lose Meep. So there's Meep. Meep's going to be coming with me. He's going to be taking up one of my inventory slots, which isn't the best. But pretty soon we'll have plenty of inventory space and we'll have a nice home that we can have Meep uh, live in. So he's just going to be in my pocket for now. And uh, that's, that's the goal. We're going to... We're gonna build, uh, I've, I've, I spent so much time, I spent hours and hours and hours, my friends, generating world after world until I found one that had what I needed. And what I need is chalk nearby so that I can make lots and lots of plaster. Cause I'm gonna use plasters and building material and I don't wanna spend half a series uh, scouring the world looking for chalk. Um, another thing that I tend to do in these, these series is uh, I, I spent too long just getting the basics done before we even get to beginning the goals that we have. So this time around, I'm gonna do, try to do like a little speed run. In the very first episode, I wanna get all my basic needs covered. All the, the sort of early game stuff, we're gonna make, uh, I got a list here. I'm gonna try and look at while I'm making my axe. I need to make fire first. That's, that's uh, number one, fire first, and then uh, after fire comes reeds for inventory expansion, then a source of food, then some clay, then we're gonna get some copper, and hopefully some tin as well. Uh, I'm gonna make, make knife blades here, we'll just use some, I think you can use sandstone, even though you can't make tools out of sandstone. You can use the sandstone to chip away at the flint. So that's my goal. Right now, I'm diving into it, we're jumping in, and the first thing I need to do is get a campfire going. Let's go! Axe, check. Oh, knife. Fire. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Fire. Boom. We fire. We get our first torch. Torch. Done. Light source. Step two, find reeds, make inventory. Oh, first inventory. Done. Two baskets. Ooh, lignite. Good to know. Waypoint. Boom! Alright, full basket storage. I'm also going to get 24 more so that I can make a proper basket. Which I can then have at my base for further storage. Boom! 24 reeds makes... Reed basket. Uh, that's step two. We got inventory. Next priority is food, and I am already struggling a little bit, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if I can find some seeds, plant, and make a hair trap. I think that's gonna be the easiest source of food in early game, because actual farming takes a while, and we're in an area that doesn't have berry bushes. We are in an area that has uh, mushrooms, but for some reason, and I don't know if this is a bug or if this is a, an intentional change to the game, but when you start a new world, none of the mushrooms are, uh, are grown. You just got stems. So we've got to find some actual crops that will give us seeds. Rice seeds don't work because they don't attract hairs. So I've got to find some... Oh, here we go. we got carrots. We're going to plant some carrot seeds, and we're going to try to get some hairs. I 
definitely seen plenty of those around. All right, we're gonna head back towards home. And uh, we're gonna set up a trap. Oh, my friends. I'm having regrets about starting in a foresty area, especially when it's as windy as this. Here's what I was talking about with the mushrooms, by the way. You just got stems, no shrooms. Uh, all of the leaf blocks animating in the wind are giving me some very serious frame lag. And I am hopeful, there we are, I am hopeful that this is not going to cause problems in the video. I'm hoping that my uh, OBS is prioritizing the, uh, the video. And that's why... Uh, ho, 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 ho. There it is. Uh, and that's why it's so framey for me. Sometimes that happens. The video will look fine, even though in-game I'm getting a lot of framiness. Uh, if there is a lot of framiness, I do apologize. I kind of intend to clear out a lot of the forest as time goes on, though. So hopefully that won't remain a problem for long. All right. Let's make some hair traps. I'm going to use the technique of just hoeing the ground around the edge so I don't have to spend time making cob or packed dirt or anything like that so that doesn't collapse. I do have... Sideways instability on for the soil. If I do this, should be no problem. Make myself a little trap. Alright, got three more seeds. Let's make three more traps. Boom, four traps. Alright, let's go back to the first one and see if it has caught anything yet. Yes, we have our first hair. Now, Probably should make a spear. Be the easiest way to kill it. I do hope that eventually I'll be able to switch to a vegetarian lifestyle for this character. But right now, we gotta think about our survival. Survival means eating rabbit. Now I would prefer to make a stew out of this meat, but I have not yet found clay. So our first rabbit meal it's just gonna have to be your roasted red meat, I'm afraid. Hair, not rabbit. Come on, Ari. I've also planted the uh, rice seed that I found. Since rice does not attract hairs, it should be safe here without any protection. At least that's what I've heard. Certainly hope that's true. You might have noticed that I've extended the burn time of firewood. I always do that because it's just too grindy to be constantly making firewood, even in a foresty area like this. Come on, me. I'm getting starving. Oh, delicious food. There we go. That'll tide me over. Oh ho ho! The fire has gone out, and I forgot that torches go out. No! <laughs> Dang it. It's fine. I'll make a new torch. Uh, torches go out now if you go underwater or if you get rained on. So it is now very dark. That should be enough, uh... There we go. There we go. I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful to, uh, keep my torch lit until I have a more permanent light source. Alright, so I'm not exactly stuffed. I've got a little bit of grain here. Don't actually need this now. Back down. Uh, so I've got a relatively stable food source to start with, and now the next thing I'm on to-do list is I need to get clay. I haven't... I don't think I've seen any out and about. I'm gonna head south and uh, see if I get lucky enough to find a patch of clay. There we go. Food vessel, that'll be grain. Rice, already got some of that. Still need clay though, still need clay. Uh, I'll come back later and pick up all the stuff that's there. I think I saw some other ruins nearby. This one will be, this one will have food as well, which is not what I need at the moment. Yeah, here we go. A ways to the east, there's several ruins, and sometimes when there's several of them together like that, you get some really nice loot in them, so I'm gonna go check that out. Found an empty blueberry bush. I'll take that with me. I've got the inventory space. If I see any more of those, berry bushes will be... Oh, there we go. We got some actual berries on this one. We'll eat those right away. Is this a huge cave that I'm walking into? I don't want to go into a huge cave right now. How do I get out of the huge cave? I came here looking for the blueberries. Man, it is so easy to get yourself turned around and lost in, in the forests, especially at night. Which is good. I like it. Adds to the challenge without adding more spooky scary monsters that I don't like. 
Ooh, Terra Preta. Spectacular. When I'm ready to actually start farming. This. Crops grow. If you're if you're new and you're not sure what I'm talking about, uh, this is high quality soil that crops grow much faster on. This is what you want to be farming on if you can find some. It just kind of patches of it just appear in the wild here and there. Grab it when you see it. Until you are very well established. I get it all? This one. Onward! Oh, we got a nice row in here. Forage can sometimes have useful stuff. I don't need a bee nade. I have five bee nades here, and I, I don't- I think I'm literally just gonna throw them in the ground. Pretty sure those are not gonna be of any use to me whatsoever. I feel like this ruin does not have a basement. I remember always being disappointed because it looks like it should, but it doesn't. There's another one right over here. Red currant bush. Alright, grab that. By the way, there is a patch of clay just to the south there. So after I explore these ruins... Oh, I shouldn't have broken that one. Poor. I'm spoiled. I've been playing on my server too much. We're, uh... Got pretty advanced stuff already. Don't need that for now. Oh, the framage is so real, my friends. I don't think this one's gonna have a base. Oh, oh. <gasps> that wall goes down a ways. That is often a sign that there's a basement underneath. Yes, this is the basement. Forage. What do we got? More clay. Poultice. In case I, uh, in case I get some ouchies. Is that it? Ow. That, that was a little painful. I'm alright, though. That might, that might be it. Ow. Alright, I guess that's it. Not a huge haul, but it's something. I will come back for these bony soils later, when I'm ready to start doing some archaeology. Is that another ruin down there to the south, southwest? Why is it so framey, my friends? Is the question that I'm asking myself. <gasps> oh, this! This is a proper room. Look at this! Oh my goodness gracious. Seed vessel. Yeah, give me the seeds. What do we got? What do we got for seeds? There's some grain seeds. Rye seeds. Forage vessel. Uh, I think these can contain... Storage containers sometimes. What do we got? We just got a bunch of shale stones. I'm just gonna set those on the ground in case I want them later. Anything I can just stack on the ground is great, because it doesn't take inventory space. Uh, this one for sure is gonna have some kind of basement. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Look at this building. This could be restored and made into a very lovely home. That's what I'm thinking here. Let's, let's get rid of this water. Interesting. Interesting. Look at that. Something down, something down there. Yep, yep, we got stuff down here. We got a torch holder. Oh, that's such a great find this early in the game. I'm getting hungry. Friends, I'm getting hungry. Ooh! Alright. <laughs> Let's drop, uh, what can I drop safely? Don't need the muddy gravel, so I'll take that. I'm gonna leave the junk metal for now. I think there'll be a real nice bed in here. There is! There's a real nice bed in here. That might be it. Yeah, oh, we're causing so many cave-ins. Ow, I'm, I'm getting myself injured all over the place. All right, and there's just a way out. I am gonna take this bed. Drop, uh, uh what am I gonna drop? I'll drop the extra knife blade. I don't need that right now. It's easy enough to make a new one. Let's get out of here. I need to go get, I need to go collect some clay. Uh, but we know now that there are some great ruins down here that we can come and further investigate later. We're more well established. Here we go. We got clay. I'm gonna take the clay I have and move it down here so I can see how much I've got. I'm gonna have to get back and cook up some more rabbits pretty soon here. Just take a stack of clay. Be on our way back home. I found a cave with some more copper right here. I should probably know, as some of you may have already guessed. Uh, I hate the grind of searching for ores, so I have cranked... Oh, fuck. I have cranked the, uh, the ore generation right up, folks. Just, just right up. Just gonna do berries. Oh, delicious berries. Um, so I shouldn't have any trouble finding ores when I'm ready to do so. And hey, if you're someone who enjoys the, the difficult, long-lasting grind of searching for even the tiniest bit of ore, that's fine. That's totally- you do- you do you. 
You know, you do what works for you. But uh, the beauty of this game is that whatever your your play style is, you can you can adjust the game to work the way you want it to, to match and to suit your own personal needs, uh, so that you have the most fun possible in the way that you want to have fun. And I really appreciate that about this game. Home sweet home, wonderful. First thing I'm gonna do, I am going to make another torch. Um, and, uh, put that in the torch holder there, so we will have a permanent beacon of light guiding us home at all times, which is wonderful. I'm also gonna set down these berry bushes, not gonna worry too much about making them pretty. This area is just gonna be an open base for a while. We'll move everything later when we're more established. Everything's gonna be underground anyway. Got my aged bed, which is wonderful. I'll put a roof over this at some point. In fact, it is gonna rain here before too long, so that's gonna be an important thing. Maybe I'll put a roof over this right now. Just a quick and dirty... Just a quick and dirty little roof. One of my favorite new blocks in the game is the strewn, strewn straw. You can make a ton of it really easily. It's not affected by gravity. And it makes quite a nice floor. And uh, you can make a decent roof with it as well. So this is just a tiny little shack we can sleep in. I'm probably not gonna sleep now because it's already almost four in the morning. It'll be wasteful. All right. Uh, clay. Got. Now I'm gonna use the clay to make some cookware, as well as our first, uh, metal tool molds that we're gonna need. And there we go. We've got our crucible, our hammer mold, our pickaxe mold. Uh, unfortunately, I did run out of clay just before uh, I was able to finish the anvil mold, and I also need to make some ingot molds. However, we've got what we need to get started. I've also got some bowls. I got my first pot of cooked food, hearty red meat stew with baked bolete mushroom, which is pretty tasty stuff. Uh, time to go and get my first nuggets of copper. sound of bees, my friends. It's so close to home as well. Oh, wonderful news. And there it is, my friends. We've got over 40 copper nugs. We need 40 to make our initial tools. That is uh, 20 for the pick and 20 for the hammer, which you need to break the chunks you mine with the pick into usable nuggets. And uh, normally we would have to also make some charcoal, but because I found some lignite earlier, we actually get to skip that part. And I can go straight. I mean, we are still going to need to make charcoal eventually. But for now, I can dive straight into making our first tools. go my friends we have poured our first metal tools and I also grabbed a bunch of uh, more clay while I was out so I finished the anvil mold made some ingot molds and basically uh, we're pretty much set so off camera as soon as these beautiful tools are ready I'm gonna go do some mining I'm gonna uh, talk to you face to face 
How you guys doing? So off camera, in between episodes, I'm gonna go mining. I'm gonna get plenty of copper. I'm gonna make the anvil. I'm gonna uh, make up the rest of the tools that I need. And then starting in the next episode, we can dive right into actually building a beautiful hobbit village. And I can't wait to get started. Uh, if you have any ideas or suggestions or anything like that, leave them in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, and I'm gonna see you next time. Bye.